All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading May 11th to uh, May 17th, 2020. And in case a any of you guys is interested in a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below uh, is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, move to the general reading of the week for you. So the first one is going to be the Ace of Wands, which represents the very topic of your week, followed by the energies of oh my God, which are, is uh, feeding up the topic that is to be the King of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is to be the Temperance, followed by the gifts and the blessings of the Ten of Swords. Moving next, we do have the impression that you are leaving into the people around. That is to be the Seven of Pentacles. And the last one that we do have for you, Aquarius, that is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering, which is the uh, Queen of Cups. All right. So, um, well, basically this, uh, um, I'm just going to spill it out here straight away. Um, that these cards are a confirmation uh, that throughout this week you are going to be on the right path but you are also gonna get a little bit ahead of yourself and that may cause frustration so what happens here is we do have the uh, energies and uh, the situation so the energies are going to put your ambition at first place first first place first and foremost so you are to be driven only by the ambition of being happy the ambition of being successful or whatever ambition you do have and that ambition itself seeing that you know that is the driving force of your life and sensing it and knowing that actually there are to be a progress because there are to be a progress throughout the week in terms of your ambition uh, that will keep on maintaining your a, a positive attitude toward the brighter future toward that the best is yet to come not to mention that also is going to boost your taste of life in a sense of that if you do have the chance because some of us now does have a chance to go out you know socialize party because the quarantine is no more here into my country okay uh then you are gonna have the affinity to do it so uh, in another words you are to feel enthusiastic to engage the world to engage with with uh, new enterprises which is exactly what happens with the situation itself but the point is that those new enterprises are not gonna feel like they are enforced and that you are obliged to take them you are to be enthusiastic to take them because they will fit with your ambition or they will help you follow your ambition now on the on the minus side though because your ambition is going to be a driving motor or like the driving force of your movement throughout the week you may not be very um tolerant to uh, criteria in a sense of that you may not handle very well things that go uh, that resides outside of your expectations and of your criteria. But we are going to touch that subject in a minute. So, uh, because uh, you are to seek how to manifest your ambition, you are to find many doors to open in front of you. And uh, behind one of those doors, there is to be very, very gainingful enterprise, very, very gainingful beginning. But this is not new beginning. Ace of Wands is a beginning within the already existing enterprise. Okay, in a sense of that, if it is a a project that we're talking about, then that is a, a new beginning within that project. Uh, or if it if it is a, a relationship that this is all about, the Ace of Wands does not point to a new relationship unless you are not single, but points a new enterprise within the framework of the relationship or a restart of a relationship as well, in case that is your ambition. The thing is here that you are to, um, with this uh, exceptional um inspiration because these two cards are the spark of inspiration this exceptional inspiration you are to polish certain if you will a skills or in other words things that beforehand you are either shy or uncomfortable performing 
uh, now they will kind of like be something very easy for you to do or rather like a very interesting for you to do and you're going to get the hang of it very very quickly but as we said um you may not be very um how can i say it um Um, so you may not handle a, a mismatch of expectations very well and that resides here within the challenges so we do have the temperance and temperance tells us one thing that uh, the first one is uh, like I said that um, if something is not exactly how you have expected it you know you may have a very low opinion of it while that necessarily have to be true because uh, with the temperance although things may differ from your expectation that doesn't mean one you can't work out with them and second you should not respect them especially if this is a about opinions and that card here as a challenging point it does urges you to try and reach a common grounds with those that has a different opinion than yours or a different ambitions than yours as well and the other challenge here that the card points is that now, you may have to cope or tackle with a bit more chores that are accompanying, you know, the developments of your ambition that you have initially anticipated. And that as well resides within the expectation. So you have expected it to be a little bit more easier than it actually is. And you have been prepared for a, a, a bigger leap than a leap you can you can do. And that's why, like I said, you know, you may get a little bit ahead of yourself at that particular point. But it won't be a, a big deal. You know, the only thing that may come from it in a negative sense, it is uh, irritation at some uh, at some level, but not as a. Um, but it's not going to be such an irritation of your behalf to ruin your week and to ruin your day. Uh, next one that we do have is going to be uh, in terms of the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. And that is the Ten of Swords. So in terms of gifts and blessing and in this particular narration, that card is gifting you the, uh, the ability to make really difficult decisions and really difficult maneuvers with a exceptional ease for you there will be only one right choice and none other so you are not going to be baffled at all and, and you are not going to feel any remorse making up your mind for you it's not going to be a matter of uh, you know deciding one good over another or one evil over another for you the things are going to be black and white and therefore you are not going to regret anything that you are to do regardless of what that is and what this is going to um, produce for your ambition that is is a brand new growing and sprawling era in terms of developing you know your goal and in terms of de developing if you will your task as well which could be your career and your relationship because uh, the ten of uh, souls here points that this week while it may be a bit more dynamic that you would like it to be because you're going to have more chores to tackle with uh, afterwards there is to be a new dawn in there so you you can uh, you can pretty much you know enjoy the uh, the clear development of uh, your career and of your relationship afterwards it's just this week it's going to be a week where you are to uh, like i said you know you are to have to handle more tasks than you have in, uh, initially anticipated so uh what is going to be though the impression of uh, the people around you that is to be the impression of the seven of pentacles and uh, this card is very awkward into that position in this particular narrative that we do have so people will uh, see you as a person who is, um, well, I'll try to explain it with the card. So people will see you as this person who is trying to fit the pentacle on, on the bush. So pretty much um, people will envy you in a sense of that they will see that you do have too many already you know the bush with all the pentacles and you are yet trying to fit another pentacle in there so people will see you that you do not or you will have the impression that you do not deserve the opening you have you do not deserve to accomplish that ambition and you don't deserve to get the gaining for enterprise that comes out of that ambition itself uh, you know people may think whatever they want but only you know what you have sacrificed for it because they see only 
um, you know, the, uh, the, the front stage of the spectacle here. They do not know what is happening behind the curtains. Only you do. But don't take it personally, seriously. Uh, it's uh, just, um, you know, um, how can I say it? It's that uh, well, it goes like that. No matter how much ones, how much one has, they always want more. Especially if they have what, uh, if they have someone to compare their domain with. And uh, my point is that many that are around you will secretly envy you, and they will want your life. And uh, the next one, or the last one here, which regards to the guidance the Tower is offering, that is the guidance of the Queen of Cups. And uh, the Queen of Cups is just telling you to take your time, and not only to tackle with the, um, with the chores here, but also to take your time and to plan your next move. Very, very important, because the uh, Ace of Wands and the King of Wands they are a very potent card in terms of growth, you know, and in terms of manifesting, but they are also very impatient cards. And you need to supplement that growth with some patience and with so, some calculative moves. And with the Queen, of One, the Queen of Cups here as a guidance, you should try to tame your, uh, your enthusiasm. You should try to tame your passion and to recognize what for what is worth and that's um, and a um, gaining for enterprise, it's like a coin. It has both sides, the good and the bad, or rather like the pleasant and the unpleasant. And as with the pleasant development, there are unpleasant chores and you have to make your plan how to tackle with those chores simultaneously as developing the pleasant side of it. So that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, guys, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can a uh, purchase such. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.